Vine was sitting on the dressing while her husband, Jungkook, was standing in front of her. She was getting ready for the evening event they both were attending in a little. But her husband suddenly came out of nowhere, made her sit on the dresser, he took the lipstick from her hand and applied it on her himself. Wine's heartbeat got so fast at the closeness, his intense gaze and his slow pressure. He was doing it on purpose and she knew it so well. He loved doing it. Jungkook, red always looks so good on you. He whispered, then look in her eyes deeply. He traveled down her neck as she fixed the collar of his coat. His intense gaze never moved off her once, as he admired his wife up this close. Wine, you do it on purpose, she mumbled. Jungkook, do what, sweetheart? When she looked in his eyes, he had teased hidden behind his look. She pushed him away and he smiled. Wine, don't tease me, she pouted and kissed her pout away, helping her get ready. Till she was done and they were ready to leave. They were going over for a business event. It was an event held by Jungkook after a successful deal. More of a formality in their world. These type of events were very really common. Jungkook was quite used to them. And slowly, Wine was getting used to them as well. He greeted a few people and kept Wine beside him all the time. His arm was wrapped around her waist. And Wine met everyone nicely and with kindness, welcoming them warmly. Jungkook couldn't be more proud. Every time he looked at her, handling everything with such perfection. He got a phone call and excused himself for a moment, but not before leaving a kiss on her temple. It was such a new sight for everyone, seeing Jungkook being so close to his wife. He was considered more of an anti-romantic guy. Everyone knew him in a way or another. He was a huge name in the business line. Wine waited for him and met a lady in between as well, who seemed like a nice person. But Junko had started to take quite a long time. She wondered if he was alright. She decided to go after him. Stepping out of the hall, she reached the hallways and heard his voice. The place seemed completely empty, so his voice echoed. She followed the voice and saw him stressing over something as he paced back and forth while attending the phone call. Clenching his jaw, he yelled at something, but then she sighed and walked up to him and back hugged him. Zanko stopped in his tracks and looked down at her hands. He saw the ring in her finger and knew who she was. He could just tell by her scent and her touch. He took a deep breath, closing his eyes, muscles slowly falling as he continued the call and put his other hand over her fragile ones. 
It continued for a few more minutes, but she stayed like that. In between, she kissed his back as well and kissed his hands. The problem seemed to continue, but he handled it with less stress this time. When he hung up the call, he turned towards her and held her hands. Wine, are you okay? What happened? Jungkook, there's a problem. He groaned and pinched his nose bridge, stepping away from Wine. Jungkook, my employee had to present the idea what this whole gathering was about. Now he's sick and the one who was there to back him up in case something like this happens has no idea what's going on. Jungkook, because something like this never happened before and he didn't prepare for it being sure that this his turn would never come. Vine, what did you do to him then? Jungkook, I fired him. If he can't do his work, then I don't need him. Vine rubbed his arm. She didn't like how her husband worked so hard all the time. But because of some irresponsible employees, such huge event would be unsuccessful. Vine, just have to present the idea, right? Where is it? I'll do it. Jungkook, what? No, I'll just... I'll do it. You don't have to work. I brought you here to enjoy. Vine, jeez, I know things around. I can do it. I'm a business professional. Jungkook, hey, I don't doubt you. I know, you can do it. But... Vine, I'm fine. I'll present it. Then you better make the rest of the night enjoyable for me. She winked and Jungkook clearly understood the meaning behind her words. He chuckled and pointed at the laptop placed on the table. She pecked his lips and asked him to return to hall and look over the guests. Jungkook asked her twice again, told her she didn't need to do it. But when she glared at him, he finally left. He was still angry about the fact such an important task was handled with such carelessness. He, for damn sure, was going to make his employees learn a lesson for ruining such a perfect event. Such unprofessionalism was not allowed at such events. When it was time to present the idea, Jungkook heard a fork being clicked against a wine glass, gaining everyone's attention. He saw wine standing there in his favorite red dress, looking as confident as ever. He sworn he saw his employees trembling standing at such spot. It was crazy how he found her so hot as she proceeded to use professional tone and represented everything so perfectly. His anger slowly washed out of his system as he was clearly mesmerized by how beautiful she looked. He was going to make sure he made her enjoy every moment of the night left ahead of them. When she was done, the soft wave of applause roared 
and everyone congratulated Jungkook for the success and his wife for doing such great there. He greeted everyone, thanking them, and then walked to Wyan, who seemed almost as busy as he was, trying to serve every guest properly. He wrapped his arm around her waist now that she was finally alone and kissed her neck. She flushed a little, but there were playful expressions on her face. Wine, you're welcome, darling, but you better keep your promise now. He chuckled. It was hot as it came out of him before he turned towards him pulling her flush against him. Jungkook, you'll remember it forever. He whispered in her ear and had a dance with her. There were a lot of people present, but in his eyes, she shone the brightest, like the moon surrounded by so many stars. Vine wrapped her arms around his neck and Junko kissed her. He was really glad every day that he got to marry her. He was always busy in his work. He never knew his blind date would turn out this beautiful for him. He kissed the corner of her lips before he pulled back and tucked her hair behind her ear. Vine he called her, thank you for being mine. She smiled and rested her head against his chest as the two slowly moved against the melody. She listened to his heartbeat which provided her with such comfort and she wanted to be nowhere but in his arms where she belonged.